Johnny has gone for a soldier. With thousands of his comrades, he boards ship for Arabia, Egypt, Palestine, and for all fronts where the British Empire needs men. Splendid fellows they are who will take care of the enemy and us. What would Hitler give for soldiers like these? This is a picture of what a man goes through after reporting for service. It shows you how your son or boyfriend was trained to be a first-class fighting man. The army class arrives. Before the war, they were militiamen. Now they're army class. But what's in a name? Once upon a time, they were war babies born in that other war which their fathers carried through to victory. People wondered if the war babies would grow up with shattered nerves. Not much sign of that today as the army class reports for training. Medical inspection confirms the fact. Well, you seem to be pretty fit. Do you do much games in civil life? Well, I play football, swimming, running, and various other games. But you ought to have plenty of opportunity for that sort of thing in the army. Uh, thanks, sir. Kit. The recruits draw their kit. A soldier has to carry around a lot of things besides himself and his rifle, and at the quartermaster's stores, he becomes the possessor of all those articles which the army considers necessary to a soldier's equipment. Then, for the first time, he puts on the king's uniform, his battle dress, and parades for the sergeant major's inspection. Does it feel comfortable? Yeah. Right, turn around. Turn around again. Are your boots comfortable? Yeah. The boots must be comfortable for the well-known reason that a soldier has to march. Not so much as he used to, but quite enough for comfort. Another well-known fact is that an army marches on its stomach. The commissariat is a very important department and Johnny's going to be well fed while he's in the King's service. It's dinner time. The recruit who's been accustomed to talk about lunch soon learns that the army knows only dinner. And one young hearty at any rate finds that the meal compares very favorably with mother's. The importance of the soldier's food is recognized in the ritual of the orderly officer's round. Now to work. The first day on the square. And an awkward lot they look. Hold on! Arm! Wake up that man in the front rank! Shalom! Arm! That man in front again! Mark time! Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Left, right. Take that smile off your face! Sympathize with the sergeant instructor and admire his tolerance. Ouch! Well, nice and loose now. Carry your body over, take your weight on both your legs. Hands the width of your shoulders when they come forward. Take your weight on both your legs, the fellow in rear. Carry your body over, don't put your toe to the ground. Two, three, on row. Reach. Now lift your head. That was PT, which is only for the younger men. And if we may let you into a secret, the soldier prefers drill to PT, though it's only designed to keep him fit like the games which he plays. And come on, give it to him. Boxing, of course, is a popular institution. How many great boxers has the army produced? And there'll be one or two reputations as pugilists made in this particular class. <laughs> weight tells in the tug of war, and what with the food and the exercise, Johnny's begun to put on weight like a soldier. Lectures and technical instruction follow the routine of drill. In the modern army, the attempt is made to give every man the job that suits him. Perhaps, mother, your Johnny is going to be a driver. If so, he's taught about the innards of his lorry. And then there's Friday's ceremonial, the all-important pay parade. Each man receives his money from the hands of his officer, the company commander or battery captain. Most of the soldier's money goes home to his wife and family, but if he has something to spend on himself, and he usually has, you'll probably find him in the nursery. Oh, sweetheart, what have you got nice this morning? Not so much for you, sweetheart, please. Oh, no. ten or what, please. Thank you. Thank you. 
This is where he indulges those individual tastes which the army doesn't cater for. In the recreation room, he reads or writes those letters home which hope to find you in the pink. If his letters are not so frequent as you'd expected, it may be the lure of the billiard table under the same roof. Or it may be his old favorite, darts. Be sure of this, he's going to look back on those days at the depot or in barracks as the making of it. Training no longer takes place in drab surroundings, the young soldier is not isolated from his fellow countrymen in remote camps. His depot may be in a garrison town, or he may even learn his soldiering at the seaside, living in billets and drilling on the front. It's amazing what pep those fresh sea breezes put into his marching. There's a personal pride in the feeling of military efficiency, which is unequaled in any other sphere of life. Private soldier wishes to speak to you, sir. Very good, son. Yes. Can I speak to you, sir, on a rather personal matter? Certainly. Um, the officers of this modern army are not a class apart. Many of them have been through the ranks themselves, and they take seriously their responsibility for the welfare of their men. Come to me to company orders tomorrow, and anything I can do for you, I will do. Thank you, sir. Here's another piece of army ritual, kit inspection. Uh, is your kit all correct? Well, sir. I must say I find the underclothing a little ticklish. Present on. The commands come fast and furious, and soon the response becomes second nature to the young men who only a few days ago were civilians. Besides the rifle, his personal protective weapon, he is introduced to the Bren gun, the principal weapon of British infantry in this war. His confidence increases as he goes on from mastery of one drill to another. Now you are beginning to look like soldiers. Considering you've only been on this ground for six days, I think you've got on wonderful well. Left! Ta! Are you right? Quick! Oh. Yes, what a difference. Soon, as the weeks pass, they'll be drafted to units as fully trained men to swell the battalions of the Territorials and stand beside the proud ranks of the old pre-war regulars. Inheritors of a great military tradition and soldiers of the British Army. So Johnny has gone for a soldier and Hitler beware. <laughs>